We're gonna go crazy, you know. We the Illinois State Redbirds, so anybody out there who really wants to work, y'all just step up on the schedule. We're gonna give y'all what y'all really want. Straight like that. It's the Ford Summer Sales Event, and now is the best time to buy. It's gonna work, I promise you. We can figure this out. A little help? Hold on, Mom. No, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. It's not a question, it's a thing. Make summer go right with Ford, America's best-selling brand. Now get 0% financing for 72 months plus $1,000 Ford credit bonus cash on a great selection of SUVs. During the Ford Summer Sales Event, get our best offer of the season. 0% financing for 72 months plus $1,000 Ford credit bonus cash. Today is the start of a transformation, a celebration of the what ifs and the why nots, because who says what is, is what has to be. And who says today is as good as it gets? We're for the bold step, for the breakthrough, for the next day and the next. We're for tomorrow. Advocate Healthcare, tomorrow starts today. You can spend it on anything. Animals and toys. I would buy a really, really, really big house. A motorcycle. I would go to college right now. Money. Hmm. <laughs> Coats or watches. Anything. Well, I said this uh, the other day, I was impressed the way we look when we took the field. You know, it's a, it's a really good looking football team uh, from a length and size standpoint. And uh, uh, we looked apart and we move well. Thunderbirds back. Not a worry, looks. Oh, what does that mean? Big boy Ryan, big boy Long. Going to the car wash today. Who wants to uh, today I was impressed with the contact. You know, we have some physical players, and um, uh, you know they they backed it up. They move well, and uh, so so our our team's doing pretty well. We have competition all over the field. Uh, start with offense. You know, offensively we've. We struggled a little bit the last two years, and uh, I, I felt that, man, we threw the ball really well uh, these four, four days. I'm Kurt Bethard. I'm the offensive coordinator and quarterback coach. I went through a whole bunch of stops in my coaching career. My children and my wife, we've moved nine times before we moved and landed in Tennessee. Um, and while we were in Tennessee, I worked away from home at three different jobs. I got a, a job offer from Coach Spack to come be the offensive coordinator here for the 2014 season. And everything was great. I enjoyed it, the 14 and 15. And right before the 16 season, I've realized that I've been away from my family quite a bit. And I had some personal issues we had to get straight, um, health and just relationship issues I had. Uh, and I thought it was best for me to go home and be a dad and a, a, a husband again for a while. We became close as a family and everything was great, but I think God just kind of stepped in and said, hey, um, maybe the time's right. I got a call from Coach Spack and he asked me, so I, about it, would I be interested? So I sat down and talked with my wife and my girls and everything was fine. They were all off to college and 
I said, yeah, this is the right time. This is the right time, and I'm excited about it because I loved working here. I loved working with Coach Spack, and it was the, the right situation. It's, it's awesome. I mean, I couldn't have been more excited when, when he was back here and hired back. So, um, he, I mean, he's the kind of the guy who basically taught me everything I know about, like, college football, basically, because he was here my first two years, and I basically learned the offense from him. And, uh, I mean, it's just in meetings every day, you find yourself, like, learning just new little, little things. Well, right now we, we've got a veteran uh, starter in Jake Colby, obviously, and he's played a lot of football. He was here in the past when I was here, and I really love working with him. There's probably not a harder worker on our team than, than Jake. You, you always want to leave a place better than you found it. And um, I feel like the past couple of years, def we definitely, as a group, haven't accomplished the goals we wanted, and I haven't accomplished the goals individually that I've wanted. But, um, at the end of the day, I do think a lot of people have just kept working hard and haven't, haven't really changed their mindset. Um, they've definitely worked on some new things, but there are people who've been working hard and I feel like I've worked hard no matter the circumstance over the last two or three years. So you, you just gotta keep working and um, good things will eventually happen. You know, Jay Kobe's had a lot of experience now and uh, we have to do a better job of protecting Jake. Uh, you know, we, you know, he's been hit quite a bit the last couple of seasons, and, and you know, I, I felt that, you know, he, un, un, he's taken un, unnecessary punishment. And uh, so we're hopeful that we can do that. Um, I'll be quite honest, coming out of the spring, I, I did not, I, did, I don't know who our backup is right now. Uh, I, don't, I don't know who that guy is. Uh, hence, as we went and got Brady Davis. Very impressive. Um, whatever it is, he seems to have it. Uh, he's very balanced. He can he can run, runs well. He he's really good on the scramble and the move, and uh, he's got a very quick quick release. And uh, and that you know when I when I was a defensive coordinator, that's why I study the quarterback. And when I see a very quick release, that really makes me not too happy because it's, it's hard to get him on the ground. Jake Colby right now is our is our quarterback, and you know everybody's been told that it's his job to lose, and he knows that he's a, he's, he's an established player. He's a very good kid and a great you know great leader and a good player. Uh, so we're, we're you know we, I, he developed he played very well in the spring I thought. Really, just making the most of every day and every meeting and every everything we do. There's a reason and. Uh, Coach Speck always says we, we wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't important. So you gotta take everything exactly the same and go 100% all the time and be locked in mentally in everything we do. The, the best thing about it is playing in the Valley, you, the expectations are high here to be get back to the playoffs and be a, a team that competes week in and week out. And I think that's everybody's goal here. Like obviously I haven't really accomplished all the goals I've set out like playing wise, but um, that hasn't changed how hard I've worked or any of, the, or any of that. So um, I don't have any regrets with that. Yeah, maybe some of the goals haven't been accomplished yet. I think I can accomplish many of them this season. So whatever happens, happens. But I know uh, I'll continue to work extremely hard and give everything I got for this program until the final game. Some people don't like quarterback, they, the quarterback deal. I don't call it a controversy. Why would you ever call that a controversy? That's a good thing, isn't it? You know, it's, it's great. I wouldn't call this a controversy. It's called depth. It's called depth.
good. Here's what I want you to um, first think about, or not think about, or give me nominations uh, are for captains. And I, use, I did this by the, by the council last year, and I'm not having a council right now. It's just not, I'm really not happy with how that has gone, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, I always think that's like a, to me it's always like a uh, uh, homecoming king contest, you know, popularity contest, and I'm, as is this, captains. So I, I'd rather have guys who've been around the program, we know the culture of the program, we know the culture of the, of the school and, and what we want. I think you guys are probably the better guys. So uh, that's why we're doing this. So give me some names, and, and when the names go up here, that's all we're voting on. So offensive captains, who, who do you think should be nominated? Jay Kuhl. Oh, Colby. Pagovich. Pagovich. Spell it for me, if I got it correct. T-K-O-V-I-C? V-I-C-H. All right, I want you guys to be the most intelligent senior class ever come through here. Uh, it's win the national championship. Win the Missouri Valley title. Lead the, big, lead the uh, MAC in uh, total, I'm uh, MAC, Missouri Valley in total offense. Lead the Missouri Valley in total defense. But what a, that may be a goal, but what are, the go what are the goals you have to meet to get to that point? So discipline. Uh, both on and off the field. On and off. Very good, very good goal, you know. And the, we had a class on when it was last, no off the field issues. That was, that was one of the deals. And guess what happened the first week of school? A disciplined person still can make a mistake, but yet correct it. Right? So I think, that, I think that's a good goal. What else? Improve every day. Improve every day. Okay, what else? Hold yourself and your teammates accountable. Hold yourself and your team accountable, right? Does that sound right? I think the amount of time I put into the program, uh, I mean, just countless hours, whether that's at home on breaks or when you're back here early because no one's here on campus, um, early mornings, late nights, I mean, it's just, I guess, countless hours that my teammates and I have put in and sometimes it goes unnoticed but and maybe some people don't put in that same amount of time but I think it's just countless hours put in to try to be successful and um, that's why a lot of football players and me personally take take it so seriously because I've been a part of teams in high school and in college that have won championships and you know the feeling that you get winning those big games and stuff that is unlike anything else. And so you just kind of get, like if you work hard, it kind of just becomes a habit. And it's hard to let yourself down or not go up to your, your capabilities and everything you do because it's something you, you do. All right, road warriors, okay? That's definitely to be that, all right? I would say we, we've, been, we've been pretty good on the road but all of a sudden we're losing, we've lost a few big games at home in the last two years. We don't lose, we don't lose at home. Period. Because you gotta steal one on the road then, don't you? And, and you know that's tough, that's tough sledding. And, and uh, but uh, we're very capable, all right? Discipline off and off the field, okay? We're gonna improve every day. Okay. All right. And everything we do, we hold, we want to hold ourselves and our team, a team accountable. Okay. We're going to start fast and finish faster. That's practice, right? Is that practice and everything? And everything we do, right? And, and I think that leads to championships, which is the national, don't put Natty on it, the national, the MVC and the state championship. You have three titles, you got a, you got a chance to win. Three championships. When I played here, 
you know, to get to the playoffs would have been a really cool deal. Being six and five would have been a really big deal. But with Coach Spack, what he's been able to do, and this is where I don't think people appreciate it enough, is he's really kind of changed not just the culture of the football program, but he's also kind of changed the culture of the community to where the expectation of six and five isn't good enough. And from when I was here first to where it is now, that part of it is awesome to have those type of expectations. Now there's a burden with that, but our burden isn't worrying about, hey, are we gonna to get to the playoffs? Are we gonna be six and five? My burden as a defensive coordinator, as a position coach, is to make sure that everything that we do is geared towards that first football game and worry about everything that we can possibly do is win that first football game. And how do we do that? Well, we take care of the little things. This is, this is absolutely, absolutely correct. You know, it's what's gotten this team in trouble. You asked if you could miss part of your uh, of the workout to see your mom's. Uh, remember that? Yeah. Guess what I made you do? Do it. Go see. Yeah, you can go see her. Make sure you're back here by 5:30 next morning. All right. You can go see. It. Go go to the retirement. But hey, it's called being a grown man. You got to take care of business. I think his uh, man building mantra starts with being able to grow a terrific mustache. I think that's the. I think that's the first rule of it. Uh, but in all seriousness, um, he wants us to be blue collar, you know, hardworking young men. And, you know, I came in, 18 year old freshman, you know, I was a boy, you know. <laughs> Hate to say that, but that's the truth. And he really built me up into the, to the young man I am today. And I, I owe a lot to that man. And it's all because of his, uh, tough uh, mantra that he instills in us. You know, I love this kind of team. This is, this is when we thrive here at Illinois State, because everybody thinks we're going to be... <laughs> yeah, yeah. No matter if we end the season conference champions or winning record or losing record, we've always done more the next season. And so this season's no different. Our work, coaches have even said our workload this off season has been way more than we've done in the past for a while now. And so we expect good results from that too because everybody's rose up to the challenge. No one's been slacking off lately. And so we expect good things from this season. You hold each other accountable. It's amazing what an organization can do. It's absolutely amazing. All right, anything else? Okay, good. See ya, thanks. One o'clock, appreciate you coming. It's the Ford Summer Sales Event, and now is the best time to buy. Phone. It's gonna work, I promise you. Hey, hey. We can figure this out. A little help? Hold on, Mom. No, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. It's not a question, it's a thing. Make summer go right with Ford, America's best-selling brand. Now get 0% financing for 72 months plus $1,000 Ford credit bonus cash on a great selection of SUVs. During the Ford Summer Sales Event, get our best offer of the season. 0% financing for 72 months plus $1,000 Ford credit bonus cash. Today is the start of a transformation, a celebration of the what ifs and the why nots, because who says what is, is what has to be. And who says today is as good as it gets? We're for the bold step, for the breakthrough, for the next day and the next. We're for tomorrow. Advocate Healthcare, tomorrow starts today. You can spend it on anything. Animals and toys. I would buy a really, really, really big house. A motorcycle. I would go to college right now. Money. Hmm. <laughs> Coats or watches. Anything. I think about Harold Etheridge I, in his time in the 90s at ISU, it seemed like the lines were had a nastiness to them in addition to excellent technique. They weren't as big as the version you have now, but have you noticed that kind of infusion of edge to your offensive line? Yeah. Well, offensively, obviously, uh, it all starts up front. They were they were vastly improved in the spring. Uh, they're, bunch, they're younger guys last year, but they're starting to gain a lot of experience. I think that group's going to be very good. 
I'll go right to left. So offense line, Donnie, he's a freak. He's like 310. He's super lean. Um, he's got crazy footwork, and he's just really focused, super smart kid. Donovan O'Day came back. He wanted to play one more year of football, and he might play more than that. Who knows? You know, he hasn't been an offensive lineman very long. You know, he had a knee injury he came back from, and you know, we appreciate what Donovan has done. Chad's really athletic, can pull like crazy. He loves it, licks his lips when he gets the pull, so that's exciting to see because not every lineman loves it. Garrett's extremely smart. Um, he's got really good footwork. He knows what's going on. He can see a safety rolling down when nobody else can. Uh, Eric Mickelson, that dude's freaky athletic too. Um, he, he can really get on people quick too. He's got some strong paws on him. Drew Himmelman, 6'10", freak. I mean, just built. He can wear an XL shirt, did you know that? I'm just gonna throw it. He wears an XL shirt and he's like 310. It's insane. He, he's just built crazy. I mean, he's like a 19 time All American, so that's exciting to see. I think our left tackle, Drew Himmelman, will be, you know, one of the finest players that I've seen here uh, out front in a while. We've had a lot of good players, but uh, Drew is, you know, 6'10, and, you know, he's, I don't know, 310, 315. You know, he'll be probably three, close to 320 when it comes to fall, and he's still 19, 20 years old. I think we're physical inside. You know, our guards are good players, and center, we have, you know, centers are good players. I, I, like, our, I like our front. I think that group's going to be very good. Coach Etheridge is uh, really funny and really interesting. Hurry up, get a look. Remember who you are, give it a look. Go! Good. On that one, now you can give a little hand for us. It's Chad, right? Do your number. Kill your number. <laughs> Can't make it any easier than that. Unhook your trailer there. G. Go! There you go. Good. Atta boy. He gets on dudes, but he's not, he's not really, he's not putting you down, you know. He's attacking the problem, not the person, which I think is a huge thing he does. He's fun. I mean, he loves to interact, and he's a great guy, and I'm glad. I'm glad he's my coach. What really makes me excited about this team is the fact that we had such a great spring um, with the amount of changes that we had. Um, I'm really excited that we are all able to um, adapt so quickly with the new coaching staff and be a very successful uh, group in the, in, in the, in the uh, spring. I'm really excited for the future and I think we're going to do something special. You learn over the years of football, there's, you can't, there's nothing more important than D-line and O-line. They, they set the tone for the offense and defense. So if you don't have a line, you, you can't be successful. And uh, I have a lot of faith in our line, and I think they, they do a great job. They're fun guys to be around. They work hard. And obviously, I know Coach Beathard, no one watches more film than him during the season. So I know whatever plays he calls, we'll all be confident in them. And uh, I know they'll probably be successful. You know, John. Yeah, you know, John didn't have a, his best of days yesterday. What I want you guys doing, working on your sheds, right? 
really was good this morning. Uh, so uh, when you're 328 pounds and 6'6", and you're still just a baby, it's it's a it's it's you don't know how good he could be. And he he for this position, I think he's going to demand a double team. And he can't, he can't accept not being, and I told him on the field yesterday, I said, you should be offended if anybody tries to block you one-on-one. -on -one. And he, he really, he likes that. John likes, John likes he's, he likes combative. He's combative, he likes combative situation. And the, the more combative it is, the more he flourishes. And the less structure and the more street fight it becomes, the more he really likes it. You get there, let's rip at that ball. Good job. You gotta make a play, big man. Power, 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 good. Strip, strip, strip. John Widgeway is a young man that we moved over from offensive line. And, uh, you know, we, we're probably gonna start calling him Little John, but he's not little. He's 6'6, 320 pound man. Any good football team is gonna win with their offensive and defensive line. For us specifically, we're excited about our defensive line, but we're gonna be young up front. I've been very happy with Jake Powell. You know, Jake Powell is. That'll be a really good combination there. Jake has, Jake has handled the competition very well. You know, Jake played last year, you know, as a freshman. And Jake's not as big. Uh, he's a former linebacker, but he's very tough. He's very strong. Uh, and he's a really good technician. And he has played very well early here. And uh, knock on wood, those two guys stay healthy. It's, a, it's, it's the toughest position on the field. And, and those two guys are tough guys. And then we got a good young one coming from normal community. I think he'll be good. I, I, I'm not sure. Um, uh, Basone will be ready this year, uh, but uh, he, he, he's shown some signs. He's a tough guy, and, uh, and he's never played defense before at this level. So, um, But those two guys, I think, are doing very well.